Hi, I'm Dr. Chinmayi, consultant at Garbagudi IVF Center, South End Circle. Today's session, we'll be discussing on what is uh, the risk of multiple pregnancies and IVF. So, what does this multiple pregnancies mean? It means having twins, triplets. Many of you would have heard that IVF means it leads to twins. In this session, I'll be telling you, is it really true and what are its complications that you can expect out of it? So if we see in natural pregnancies, the chances of having twins is about 2 to 3 percent. So out of 100, at least 2 to 3 women can have twin pregnancies. Triplets, it is around less than 1 percent chances. So in whom it is more increased among natural pregnancies are when it is elderly age group or if there is a family history, if she herself is a twin. So in that cases, if there is a genetic history of having twins, such women are prone for getting twin babies. But what happens in case of infertility is, many a times to get a good follicle or to make a good egg growth, we would be putting them on medications for that egg growth. So whenever they use that egg growth along with certain injections, there is chances of getting two to three eggs growing in the same cycle. So one egg can lead to one pregnancy. Simultaneously, when there are two eggs, the chances of twins will increase. Suppose if any woman is undergoing an IUI procedures and she's being given injections for egg growth. In such women, the chances of getting twins is about 8%, 8 to 10%. Whereas in case of an IVF procedure, where we will be transferring the embryos directly into the uterus. So where in case we transfer, say, two embryos, or more, then the chances of getting twins is almost 30 to 40 percent. That is where the twinning chances are increased. So, uh, what are the measures that we take to overcome it? So these days, because of the recent techniques, we were able to identify the very good embryo with the best culture methods. Uh, we are getting uh, best embryos on day five. So in IVF procedures, whenever a woman is opting for a day five embryo transfer, a single good day five embryo is sufficient enough to give a single healthy pregnancy. Suppose if you want to go with double embryo transfer, the chances of twins is 30 to 40 percent. The next question is, are we? Uh, is it something really worry about if we have twins? Definitely no, provided a proper care is taken during their pregnancy period. So what needs to be done? What are the risks that one can have during their pregnancy if it's a twin pregnancies? There is a slight increased chances of having preterm birth, having early deliveries that is, or it could be uh, the baby weight might be a little lesser, or preeclampsia that is uh, having BP during uh, pregnancy, development of sugars during pregnancy, which we called as GDM. So all these risks can increase during pregnancy in patients with twins. But all these things can be taken care provided a good antenatal care is given to her during her pregnancy. Second thing is something uh, during IVF that we need to really worry is when we transfer more than two embryos there is definitely in chances of having triplets. So is it safe to continue triplets? No, we don't prefer because whatever complications that I said may be development of BP, sugar, early deliveries or uh, having uh, our low birth babies, they are all the child risk will double up. So what do we suggest is to go for fetal reduction in them where one of the fetus can be reduced and they can continue the pregnancy with twins. So with all these measures along with that we can plan a cervical encircler to prevent preterm birth. So various measures can be taken to prevent those and to take care of those complications arising out of twins. So even though IVF leads to twin pregnancies, it is not something to be feared of because it can be controlled and also if in certain subset of patients where we expect the complications to be more, they can go for a single embryo transfer where we can avoid the development of twin pregnancies. So with all these techniques, all the complications can be easily overcome. Thank you. If you have liked today's session, kindly like and subscribe the video.